advice if it's recommended to have a CO2 generator for a greenhouse? That's a good one for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely interested in this, um, especially for small greenhouses. So usually we recommend natural gas. It's going to be the most efficient in the long run. Uh, but for a small greenhouse, that's definitely something to consider. Yeah, in at least in the northern U.S. where you button the greenhouse up for the winter and you're really not doing much air exchange, uh, you almost have to have CO2. And a lot of people have said in the past, oh, CO2 doesn't work in the middle of the winter at northern climates simply because there's not enough light uh, to make uh, use of that CO2. So uh, light is a limiting factor, not CO2. But um, research that has been done is found between a 10 and a 20 percent increase in productivity in northern environments in the middle of the winter with very uh, short day length and reduced quality light with CO2 supplementation. So it definitely helps. It, uh, even, even if in your, the northern U.S., and maybe even especially if you're in the northern U.S., uh, CO2 is a must-have for greenhouses as soon as you start to slow down those air exchanges. I'd like to add that about a year ago, uh, Cornell did, uh, had somebody did a research project there with uh, CO2 generation on lettuce, um, hydroponic lettuce, and nighttime control. And what they were finding is they were increasing their production by, I think it was almost as much as 50%, you know, lettuce head weight um, in a faster time span because of the drop in CO2 at night. Um, you know, because crop was still needing CO2, and it was using pretty much everything that was available inside the greenhouse. Like Nate's saying, you know, it's closed up. And, uh, you know, just so the, the having the control or you know, a system that can monitor that CO2 on a, you know, if that's a higher level house, higher level controller, it's uh, uh, it's it's looking to be pretty important. 